morning, YouTubers. Thank you very much for joining me. Well, North Korea leader Kim Jong-un revealed his daughter to the world for the first time on Saturday in striking photos showing the pair hand in hand before the launch of the nuclear armed country's largest ballistic missile the day before. North Korea test fired a Hasong 17 intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM on Friday. State news agency KCNA reported on Saturday. A surprise addition to the launch was the presence of Kim's daughter, whose existence has never been publicly confirmed before. Her unexpected appearance raises the prospect that leadership of the totalitarian state could pass to a fourth generation of Kim's, suggesting that nuclear weapons will be part of that inheritance. Jenny Town of 38 North, a Washington-based North Korean research organization, said that Kim's taking his daughter to an ICBM test and publishing pictures of the two of them watching the launch suggests he is not about to bow to pressure to slow his weapons programs or return to negotiations. Kim is believed to have as many as three children. Two girls and a boy, experts say. Some observers believe that one of these children was seen in footage of celebrations of a national holiday in September. In 2013, retired American basketball star Dennis Robin said Kim had a baby daughter named Ju A, it's spelled J U, and then A E. After a trip to North Korea that year, Rodman told the Guardian newspaper he had spent time with Kim and his family and held the baby. Ju A is estimated to be about 12 to 13 years old, which means that in four to five years she will be preparing to attend university or go into military service. Kim's wife, Rai Sol Ju, also made a rare appearance. appearance at Friday's launch, according to KCNA. Whenever Rai Sol Ju appears, there is a strategic messaging involved, normally designed to tap down tensions, counter other aggressions, aggressive messages like tests, or show Kim family concession in times of internal troubles. North Korea fired the ballistic missile on Friday and it landed in Japanese waters in its second major weapons test this month that showed the potential ability to launch nuclear strikes on all of the U.S. mainland, even all the way over there to the uh, East Coast. Friday's launch involved its longest range missile, which is still under development and is designed to carry multiple nuclear warheads to overcome U.S. missile defense systems. According to estimates by South Korea, and Japan. It flew about 600 miles and a maximum altitude of about 3,800 miles. Depending on the size of the warhead, it could have a distance of 9,000 miles that it would travel. Professor at a South Korean uh, Defense University said that the Hasong 17 missile can carry three to five nuclear warheads and fly as far as 9,300 miles. North Korea has two other ICBMs, the Haesong-14 and Haesong-15. And their test launches in 2017 showed they could potentially reach parts of the U.S. mainland, respectively. The Haesong missile evidently is one of uh, the longest flights that a liquid-fueled missile has ever made. Later Friday, South Korean military said its F-35 fighter jets uh, conducted drills simulating aerial strikes on North Korea mobile missile launchers. In recent months, North Korea has performed dozens of short-range missile tests that it called simulations of nuclear attacks on South Korea and U.S. targets. There has been concerns that North Korea might conduct its first nuclear test in five years 
as its next major strength in strengthening its military capability against the United States and its allies. North Korea has been under multiple rounds of United Nations sanctions over its previous nuclear and missile tests, but no new sanctions have been applied this year as it has conducted dozens of ballistic missile launches, which are banned by the UN Security Council. China and Russia, two of the Security Council veto-wielding permanent members, oppose new UN sanctions. Washington is locked in a strategic competition with Beijing and in a confrontation with Moscow over its invasion of you-know-where. Japan requested an emergency meeting of the Security Council on the missile launch, and diplomats said it is expected to take place Monday. North Korean expert Andrei Lankov, a director at North Korean Risk Group, said North Korea has been desperate to get the uh, Haesong-17 running after its mix mixed records in the past. Their goal is quite simple and clear. They want to have a reliable delivery system capable of wiping out New York City or Washington whenever the Kim family considers such an action necessary. On Saturday afternoon, they're at least uh, probably about 13 hours ahead of us here in the U.S. Uh, Central Daylight Time, North Korea Station Television aired edited footage of Friday's ICBM test, showing a countdown and the launch of the Haesong-17. KCTV did not show video of Kim Jong-un and his daughter, but presented photos published in state media. A White House official implied the test was timed with Harris's visit to Thailand to attend the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC, comparing the pattern to DPRK launches when the Vice President visited South Korea in September. North Korea did not identify a specific U.S. military threat as justifications for Friday launch, but the test came a day after the DPRK's foreign minister threatened a fiercer response to Seoul and Washington's efforts to strengthen extended deterrence. U.S. and South Korean officials met on Thursday to discuss Washington's latest nuclear posture and defense policy, according to Seoul's defense minister. The parties reportedly discussed ways to strengthen deterrence against North Korea's nuclear and missile threats amid the severe security situation on the Korean Peninsula. Again, after Friday's ICBM launch, Seoul also scrambled F-35A stealth fighter jets that dropped laser-guided GBU-12 bombs on a dummy transporter erector launcher, TEL target, while the U.S. and ROK conducted a joint fighter jet fight. Then, on Saturday, ROK and U.S. forces conducted a combined air exercise involving a U.S. Air Force B-1B bomber escorted by South Korean F-35 fighter jets and U.S. F-16s, according to Seoul's Joint Chief of Staff. So, what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. At the end of every month, uh, YouTube AI, for some reason, um, deletes people um, from their uh, subscriptions. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they think you're bots or something. And if you get any messages from anybody claiming to be me, um, yeah, um, yeah, I do not send out phone numbers or things like that. Um, asking people to call me. So those are fake accounts. Um, once again, thank you for your time. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.